I'm Scott Borders. Today's painting is red onions. Onions are a favorite subject of still life painters through the centuries. They're interesting, they're varied, they can be very colorful. And in this painting you're going to have a chance to really practice painting red onions because there are several of them. Look for the modeling, the perspective, the different shading and colors in there. Even though they're all very similar, there's enough variation and difference to really help practice color mixing as well. As always, if you haven't watched the color mixing video first, I recommend that you do that now. So let's begin this red onion painting by doing what I always do, of course, is to draw it out with my brush. I prefer to use the brush to draw because it just feels more natural to me. If you like to use charcoal or a pencil, then whatever works best for you is what you should do. So I'm going to begin with the largest onion just to help get a sense of size and placement that I can use to help me map out the rest of the painting. If I come down about, oh, a little, not quite four inches, right about in there is the top of that onion. I'm using raw umber that I've thinned down quite a bit. I like raw umber to draw with usually because it doesn't interfere with the other colors as they mix into it if I paint on top of it. As I begin the painting, it's, uh, the painting part of this, it'll, the raw umber won't be dry. If I want to map out a circle, the best way is to kind of put points. The circle is not a perfect circle, that's more of an oval. It's wider than it is long. So how far down does it go? It goes down, oh, about an inch and a half or so. Comes over not quite four inches. So right about in there. And about not quite oh, four inches from this side, so about the same. A little more than four inches. As I look at this more closely, it's, it's closer to a circle than it appears, I first thought. indicate where this, where the root, roots come through. Now that I've established that, I can use that to help me draw the other onions. So this one comes down about two and a half inches or so. And there's nothing wrong with measuring. I'm going to make a kind of a center line to help me get the right angle on this onion. So 
Get a nice shape there. And this one's going to come overlap it just a little bit there. If I look at this onion that I'm, you know, where does this part go? If I look at the photograph, it kind of is not connected to this onion, but it, visually it sort of sweeps like that. And I want to make sure I get that part. Pay attention to negative spaces. This shape right in here will help me make sure I'm getting the right size and placement. When I hesitate, I'm looking at where do these edges end up in relation to the canvas. Drawing is all about mapping, making sure things fit, that the distances are correct. When I make too many strokes to really see what I'm trying to do, I just rub it out and fix it.
over here. Once you're finished with this, step back a little bit and look at these shapes and correct them if, you know, make sure they're pleasing and symmetrical. That's a little better. Just indicating these wedges or the veins. It just helps me to see if I've got the drawing about where I want it to be. Make sure these shapes are correct if these ridges work out as I put them where I think they ought to go. I'm raising this, these little root, where the roots were, just a little bit, because if, otherwise if you frame this, it's just going to cut it off.
make this onion slightly smaller for the same reason that I don't want it to lose it entirely if the, cause the frame will hit it right about there. Okay, I'll stop there and we'll continue in a few moments. Mm -hmm. 